Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make a mod pack. This series is proudly brought to you by Apex Minecraft hosting nixgames.com slash apex. First link down below and uh, go get yourself a server. You can host a modded server with your mod pack on it. it it's, it's amazing. Go check it out. Nixgames.com slash apex. First link down below. But today we're going to be selecting mods for our mod pack. It's, it's awesome, guys. Like, it's an incredible, incredible thing here. We're actually going to be adding mods. Now, for me, this video is going to be pretty quick and simple because I've already got a lot of the mods downloaded here, and then I'm going to show you guys how you can download some other mods and some things you need to look for when selecting mods that are very, very, very important, right? So you need to make sure those are good and that everything's working and uh, you have permissions and stuff, and I'll show you how permissions work. Next episode, I'll show you how to set up the permissions file and configure it and all that stuff because that's a very important part of the mod pack. But first, we need to make sure that we have permissions for the mod. So to do that, we need to go to a mod here. And if we go to inventory tweaks, for example, we can scroll down. And usually somewhere on this page, you have them saying, yes, you can use this in mod packs or no, you cannot use this in mod packs. Now, do they have it right here? Let's see. Can we find it? I've not seen it anywhere. So, official website for inventory tweaks here. Let's see if we can maybe find it. Uh, mod pack, mod pack, mod pack. We can search it. Mod. No, nothing on mod packs. This is an issue because you want to make sure you have permission to, uh, to use a mod pack. Or use this in a mod pack. So, let's see here. Remove mod pack there you go so inventory drinks of the mti license is frequently used in mod packs feel free to redistribute it my only request is that you provide a link to either this thread or the mods website so there you go cool you can do that and all you got to do is in your permissions file or include a link to the website i'm going to show you guys how to do all of that next episode but we're good to go ahead and uh, download this mod and get it installed in uh, in the thing now what if you can't use permissions for example lucky blocks here if we scroll down We'll find what Lucky Blocks has to say about mod packs, and uh, right here it is. You are not allowed to create public mod packs using this mod. That means if we wanted to install Lucky Blocks, no, 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 can't do it. Can't download Lucky Blocks and install it in our mod pack because guess what? It is against their permissions. They don't want people using it in mod packs, so we're not going to. That's pretty much how that works. So let's go ahead and minimize this out to have uh, everything here on the desktop except this file, which is air it out for some reason and I know why that is we need to click keep here so once we've got all of our mod folders here or mod folders mod files here we can go ahead and move forward this is a vanilla plus mod pack that's what I'm calling it. it's basically taking vanilla and just adding a little bit on top of it making it a little bit better we've got inventory tweaks which we just downloaded BSPKR's core mod which is required for tree capitator We've got Iron Chest, we've got Toad Chicken Core, which is then required for not enough items. It's nothing crazy, it's a simple little mod pack. Your mod pack will probably have over 50 mods in it. My other mod pack that I have, Nick Tech, has over 90 mods in it, or close to 90 mods in it. The FTB has over 160 mods in it, so don't be afraid to put a ton of mods into your pack. But this is for the purpose of this tutorial, I don't want to have a bajillion mods going together. So, let's go ahead and get these installed. To do this, we want to go ahead and open up MultiMC, which we got set up last episode with Voice and ready to go on that right so here's our instance 1.8 in this right we want to go ahead and go into instant settings and then from here I'm sorry not instant settings my bad my bad I messed up we want to come over here and go to edit instance and then we want to install mods right down here so we want to install a mod under this now let me kind of explain what this is about real quick so any mods that just go into the mods folder can be installed with this install mods right here. Any mods that can't be installed and have to go directly into the Minecraft jar, they are added right here under the add jar mod, right? So even though these are .jar files, they are not jar mods. Big difference. Jar mods go directly into the mods folder, like too many items, which I don't think you can even use in mod packs. These mods, which aren't jar mods, they're just, you know, normal, everyday drop them in your mods folder mods these are clicked on and installed by install mods here so let's go ahead and click on install mods then we want to click add and we can go through and go to our desktop and find these so let's scroll down and i'm pretty sure you can select multiple ones at a time you can you can just hold control and select all the ones that you want is that everything is that six one two three four five six awesome we can click open it does all that we then want to click add oh i'm sorry not add we then want to click close 
and we can go ahead and launch into that. And it's as easy as that installing mods into your mod pack. So now our mod pack literally has, if we click play over here, all six of these mods installed. Inventory tweaks, BSBKR core, tree, tree ca tap, capitator, it's hard for me to say, NEI, Cho Chicken Core for NEI, and Iron Chest all installed and ready to go. And when it opens up here, we'll be able to actually see that kind of working. So don't be afraid, by the way. When every mod pack I've ever seen opens up, there's always some kind of red. Don't worry about the red. It's okay. Don't freak out. If you try to eliminate all the red, you'll be you'll never release your mod pack because it's impossible. So if we go ahead and open this up here, though, we can see it going through and downloading things and it immediately jumps into that for some reason. But we can go ahead and click on mods here and sort them A to C. BSPKR Core, Coach Chicken Core, Inventory Tweaks, Iron Chest, Minecraft Forge, Not Enough Items, and Tree Cap Capitator. There they all are. All of them are installed. And ready to go, and that means it will work with our mod pack. Now, Nick, what do I do if I'm installing a mod and suddenly something's wrong? Like, for example, I can't generate a world, right? So, if we try to just dump in here and we create a new world, and it just doesn't work. It just refuses, refuses to work for us, right? It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. Well, then what do you do? Well, you have to figure out the mod that is making that happen. That's all you can do, is go in and try to figure out the mod that is making that issue happen. I mean, that's one of the hardest parts about building mod packs, is going in and figuring out mods that don't work together. And then if you're real fancy, you'll try to make them work together. If you're like me, you're just like, ah, no, I'm going to remove that mod that's not making this work. So, for example, if we had installed these mods and inventory tweaks was the problem, I would go through and I would actually remove each mod one by one to see which one the issue was with. And then I'd figure it out and then, you know, remove that mod from my pack or try to make it compatible, something I'm not going to get into or even cover in this because it's a very complicated process. But there you guys have it. Now you know how to install mods using one MC edit or multi MC, not MC edit, different thing, multi MC. And uh, you can install all you want, install all the, mod pack, all the mods you want, and your mod pack's on its way to being uh, up and ready to go. Next week, we're going to cover permissions of a mod pack. So how to. How to make sure people get credit where credit is due, which is very, very important. And in addition to that, you can go ahead and, and you know, after that, release it and all that stuff. And we're not going to cover it. No, we are. We're going to cover that in future episodes. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. More episodes coming every single week of this for the next, like, four or five weeks. It's kind of insane. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down now we've got episode one of this series. Do you want to see how to install multi-MC? Like maybe you missed that part but ended up on episode two. Well then go check out that video because it shows you how to do that. It's episode one of the How to Make a Mod Pack series. And down the other we've got Nick Tech, which is my epic and awesome Minecraft Let's Play series of my very own mod pack, Nick Tech. It's like a technology-based mod pack and that video is a tutorial slash let's play of it. Go check it out. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games. More mod pack tutorials or how to make a mod pack tutorials coming in the coming week. And uh, I'm out, guys. Peace. Bye.